using AutoSync Assistant. This video will help users navigate through VoiceQ 3.0's newest addition, the AutoSync Assistant. The AutoSync Assistant has a built-in voice recognition engine that automatically matches your script text and media file in the appropriate position in the VoiceQ timeline layout. Open the VoiceQ application. In the welcome window, select Create a new project. Navigate to File, AutoSync Assistant. The user will then be prompted to select a media file. Select a media file and click Open. The user will then be able to review their media file and select the appropriate audio track. Once the user has finished, click Import. Importing your script. Next, we'll import a script file. You can import a text file, a CSV file, or a Word document. For this demonstration, we'll be importing a Word document. Click Import MS Office. Select a file and click Open. The user will then be able to review their text file and make selections in the text import window shown. The text import window has a range of functions for users to edit their scripts. Users can select split sentences to shorten longer lines. Users can also select extract on-screen notes via the checkbox, then click the box next to the item to select which bracket type they wish to remove from the script. All extracted comments are shown in the comments section in the timeline view once import is completed. Users can then select import to complete the script import. Performing voice recognition. Next, we will perform the voice recognition. Users have the choice to skip automatic recognition. By doing so, the user can manually assign their chosen text to the appropriate audio block after import. For this example, we will be using the automatic recognition function. Users click on Continue. Depending on the length of the media file and the text, we'll decide the length of time it will take to sync the project. Once recognition is completed, a new window view will appear. The Timeline View. The window allows the user to assign text from the script to audio segments created from your media file. We'll start by explaining the Timeline View and the options included in this section. The Timeline View shows the audio segments created by the automation process. Along the bottom of the view are the following options. The Time Code, which shows your progress. The Timeline Scale, which adjusts the zoom level of the Timeline View. The Audio Minimum Gap Options, which adjusts how the automation process finds each audio segment. The Threshold Options, which allows users to choose the level that the automation process adds or skips. Finally, the Add Character button, which allows users to add characters to assign with their text segments. Also to note, users can right-click on an audio segment to either delete or split segment. If a user chooses to split the segment, it will create a new audio block shown below in the sync view. The sync view. The sync view allows the user to assign text to audio. If automatic recognition was used, the tool will associate the text to audio shown by yellow lines. Users can press play to hear playback. To assign text to audio, select the text block on the left, then select the audio block to match on the right. Two new options will appear next to play. One option is to connect the blocks, and the other is to disconnect the blocks. Users can play back the audio to confirm it is correct. In some cases, audio may be split incorrectly. Users have the option to merge both the text blocks and audio blocks. To merge blocks, users can select two or more blocks while holding Command and then right-click. The option to merge blocks as well as delete will appear. Select Merge to complete the process. The same process can be done for the text blocks. 
Users will notice when right-clicking, there will be more options on the text blocks view. Users can add scripts to their project, split or edit script text, delete script, and merge scripts. Once you have connected a text block to an audio block, it will appear green. Note that all progress made while using the AutoSync Assistant is automatically saved. When you have correctly synced all the lines to audio, you can then complete the AutoSync Assistant process. Select Import to complete the process. Users will then see all text and audio as they would in a normal voice queue project. If you wish to make additional changes, you can select File, AutoSync Assistant to reopen the AutoSync Assistant window. Any text or audio you may have missed will be shown. All previously synced data will not be shown. Once the user is done, start a new scene by selecting Reset and Import Script. This concludes the AutoSync Assistant process.